Hey there guys, we're taking a look at Doom Eternal running on the AMD Ryzen 5 5500U. Now this is a game that would not launch on this system when it only had 8 gigabytes of RAM. It wasn't until the 16 gigabyte upgrade that we were finally able to launch the game and actually load in and be able to play. And it's interesting how drastic of a difference we have now with these 16 gigabytes of RAM, where with 8, we couldn't even launch the game. And with 16, here we are playing it at an average of 50 FPS with 1% lows that are just slow slightly under 40. Really overall, you can get away with playing the game like this at 1080p with the lowest possible settings, but there are fluctuations in the performance and it's not going to be the most incredible experience, but it's definitely a lot better than just not being able to launch it at all. I was just genuinely expecting this to perform really bad considering that it wouldn't even launch with the eight gigabytes. I thought we were pretty much just at the bleeding edge of what could even run this, but no, we're getting really, really good performance here. And really this is one of those games that really showcases how important that 16 gigabytes upgrade is you genuinely are losing out on certain gaming experiences because of that limitation so it's definitely an upgrade that you have to consider and really something that you have to also take into account when you're thinking about buying a laptop that has you know just soldered memory i know at these lower price ranges you end up seeing a lot of systems that either have the soldered eight gigabytes or soldered one four gigabyte stick and another open four gigabyte slot because what ends up happening in that situation is if you throw in like an eight gigabyte stick now you're running a four by eight like configuration which means that only four gigabytes are going to actually end up being like dual channel and what i mean by four gigabytes is you know the four gigabytes on each stick is going to end up being like that so in total eight gigabytes will be dual channel and then the remaining four gigabytes will be single channel so you end up in a limiting situation like that so you really have to consider the ram upgradeability here because i mean the prices of some of these eight gigabyte systems can be very tempting and sometimes you do see like eight gigabyte lpddr4x systems out there and it's easy to start to think well maybe the increased speed over regular sodium is going to be enough to make up for the fact that it's just eight gigabytes and for certain games it's not going to be it's likely to just become a huge barrier of entry in terms of improving the performance though you can drop things down to 900p and actually get a very consistent 60 fps FPS average. Now I couldn't get my game to run above that. I don't really know why. It was just completely limited to that. I had VSync off. It was in full screen mode. It was just it just would not go above 60, which is perfectly fine. I mean, that's the limit of the screen on the laptop anyway. It's just one of those things where it would have been nice to see what the limits would have been like. I'm definitely gonna have to do a video showing different games running on an external 144 hertz monitor so that we can actually see what the full limits are of some of these games. But it really overall, 1080p or 900p are both decent options here you're going to be able to play this game perfectly fine and honestly even at the lowest settings the game looks very very good but anyways that is it for me guys i will see you guys next time